Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are testing every single mask on Amazon. And when I say every mask, oh, -ho, good news. I mean, even our masks. That's right. And we can do it because, drum roll please. Our masks are on Amazon. I know, right? Yeah. We debated about it, but you know, we said, hey, if we're gonna be fair here, we might as well put our masks on Amazon. But something you might notice is that the packaging is a little bit different. If you buy our masks today, you're gonna get them in a box like this, okay? Ooh, nice America box. We call this the Nugent. Don't ask. Um, we want it to be a little bit different. And the reason we want it to be different was because, uh, well, quite frankly, no one really sells uh, masks in bags and Apparently there's this thing with Amazon where people jump on your listing and try to pretend like they're selling your stuff. We thought if we packaged it in a unique way, it would be very, very obvious. So that's why if you buy it on our website, you're gonna see it like this. You buy it on Amazon, it's gonna be in a bag like this. Same mask though. All right, let's go ahead and test. <laughs> Full start. There we go. And All right, let's let her rip. Come on, machine. Don't fail me now. All right. So let's take a look at uh, the bag and the box and the listing. Uh, so, you know, if I look at our listing, uh, let's see if we're making any claims in here. Actually, it doesn't look like they've let us make claims, although it is an ASTM level three mask. And in some of the comments, they're writing that. So <laughs> thank you, people. It is made in America. It is. Uh, a level three, it does say level three on here, but uh, I think Amazon is just so crazy about like the different keywords. So we can't say uh, ASTM for some reason. Um, saying ASTM three is making a claim that it's gonna be 98% or better. So don't fail me machine, don't do it. Ooh, we're doing pretty good so far, 99.5. All right, let's take a look at this. I love this bag. I haven't really had a lot of experience with it. Um, it's because we only made these for Amazon. So it's gonna say on here, maximum protection, ASTM level three. Whoa, someone's making a lot of claims in here. Hopefully we can back it up. Um, what we're doing on here is just kind of showing the difference between uh, the different ASTM levels. So that you can see it's 98% protection for particulates and a bacteria. We're only testing particulates here because I don't want to grow bacteria. It just seems like a whole to do. Uh, let's open this up. Ooh, I also like that it's like this like nice open, you know, thing on the top because it's like, ah, that's never been opened before. And this is a really, this is a barrier bag. So you know that you could probably throw this thing in the water if you wanted. We went ahead and we sealed it as well. I know, who are these guys? This is a food grade plastic that we actually seal inside of a clean room. And then actually in our clean room, we're also sealing this as well, double sealed for your protection or pleasure. Um, all right, I'm gonna open this up. One complaint we do get, is that it's actually kind of hard to open our plastic bags. That's a feature, folks. All right, let's get the mask out here. Um, sometimes I, I notice that it's a little like, it gets these weird indentions. That's from the sealing process when it uses that shrink bag. Um, but it usually uh, winds out over time. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Let's do this one here. I could, actually I could tell that's like, that one's gonna, I really, it's gonna break. I, I don't like that it, that it was breaking that much. I mean, it, like I'm being very critical here. Like that one's not, that's not breaking. This will never come off on your face. Like I, these ones wouldn't. Um, and that's why we have the guarantee because we're gonna stand by it. Like if, if, if we have an ear loop break and it happens, mistakes happen, we're gonna fix it. All right. Um, put it on. Deep breathing here. I'm gonna say it's got a light smell to it. These are made of plastic, so, um, but it's not a bad smell. And that's what I've been finding is, is a lot of these, like don't have uh, a bad smell. It's the ones that, that smell like, you know, you spilled gas on your shoes or they smell like you're living inside of a glove compartment or something like this. I would call this smell made inside of a clean room. Yeah. But it does, it does have a slight smell to it. So the nose wire and this is like, dang, that's some good nose wire. I mean, I don't want to like toot my own horn, but boop, boop. I mean, this thing is really good. And let me show you why. 
I'm gonna cut this open. You can even see right here the double indention. This is a super thick double nose wire. I've kind of showed this on some of the videos, but you can see how that has two wires in there. That's gonna give you an extra amount of uh, conforming. Does a great nose wire matter if the mask doesn't protect you? No. So what did it do? 99.62, 99.62. That's really high. <laughs> That's really high. Uh, we test our masks uh, every day. It's one thing that makes us a little bit unique is that we test our masks every day that they come off the line. I have personally never seen it that high and I'm actually kind of embarrassed because now it feels like we're shilling. But as uh, my uh, compatriot here just pointed out, we literally just made this mask. <laughs> and put it in the box. Maybe that has something to do with it. We like to be in the 99%, but 99.62 is really freaking high. Like that is really high. That's like, that's basically everything. Uh, Cause we're testing at 0.1 microns. So this is basically, this is basically filtering everything that could possibly go through. So that's, that's great. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I've been having a good time, so I don't even care if you have. No, I do, I do. And actually it would really help me out if you have more interesting masks, uh, you know, send them to us. We're going to put some information in, in the notes here. Uh, I'd love for you to send us a mask and test them out. Have you washed our mask 46 times? Let's test it and see. We, this is an unknown amount, so we don't know how much this has been breaking down, but I'd love to see more uh, stuff like this. And not our masks, other people's masks too. So send it to me. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next test.